could be guilty of war crimes. That's according to an investigation revealed in a documentary titled Nigeria's Hidden War. Produced by well-known producer, reporter and documentary filmmaker Evan Williams, the kidnap of more than 200 Nigerian schoolgirls by hardline militants shocked the world and focused new attention on the terrorist group Boko Haram. But on special assignment this Sunday, we expose the other side of Nigeria's war on terror. The program examines dozens of videos and eyewitness testimonies that show how innocent civilians are being tortured, imprisoned, even murdered, allegedly, by the Nigerian army and their civilian militia in their desperation to catch Boko Haram. Evan Williams now joins us on the line from London. Welcome to Morning Live. What propelled you to dig deep into what we believe to be just a state fighting against terrorists? Well, that's exactly right, and that's where we started. Good morning. We, we began by looking at uh, what we were told were video of Boko Haram operatives training children to be suicide bombers. And in the course of uh, trying to find that actual video, instead my uh, colleagues in Nigeria sent me a uh, video that was being shot by the militia and by the military, often on their handphones or small cameras, as they uh, conducted operations searching for suspected Boko Haram suspects. And what we saw in that was uh, a degree of the beginnings of torture, beatings, and then the uh, detention and eventual, in some cases, execution of those who had been uh, arrested. Can you give us a, a brief summary? I know you've touched just lightly on it, but a brief summary of some of the things that you uncovered while you were filming. Well, it started off, uh, it, it looked like a normal sort of security operation with, uh, with the civilian militia. Basically, the background is that uh, in May last year, around March, April last year, uh, civilian militia started forming in the northwest of the, uh, the northeast of, uh, of Nigeria in the hunt for Boko Haram. Now, they started operating with the military. They were local men who were opposed to Boko Haram, who said that they knew who the people were in their communities. And they had some uh, initial success. The problem was that they started to then go out and basically arrest anybody they thought might be uh, a member or supporter. And I then, over the course of our year-long investigation, we, in terror, we, we met uh, militia members and we asked them on what basis they were arresting people. And it was quite extraordinary because they were looking for signals like um, somebody might have looked a bit thin, uh, they might have had some information, Informers were being paid by the military to give them information about people. And the scrutiny then led to a process of men being uh, severely tied, severely beaten. And then, as the militia members told me in our interviews, they were then beaten to confess that they were Boko Haram members. And we see this in the video that they shot themselves at the time. And then after that, it, once, you, once you do confess, you're then handed on to the military. And the process was... The military would then take these men into military barracks in the northeast, particularly in Majiguri, a place called Giwa Barracks. And there, we, we are told by uh, survivors, human rights investigators, and also the militia members themselves, men were just packed into rooms, maybe dozens to a small room, where they were left to stand often for months, many dying of cholera, disease, uh, torture and execution, uh, while they were held in military detention. The problem was that uh, as members uh, of the, those uh, cells would, uh, would tell us later in the film, nobody bothers to go in there and ask them any questions. So there's no due process going on at all. So men were, the men were being, uh, many innocent men were being uh, collected, beaten into confessing that they were Boko Haram members. All right, and Evan, the Evan Williams, we're going to have to interrupt you there. So sorry for that. There is uh, so much to find out. And I know we're going to be uh, watching it on special assignments on SABC television this coming week. So do tune in there. And that was Evan Williams uh, on the line from London. Thank you very much for your time. So I'm now to take a look at your market indicators, starting with your currencies.